Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Brandy, and I'm gonna try something different today. I'm going to do a video that's basically like a movie review of sorts. Uh, my friends recommended that I do this because they think I am hilarious at reviewing movies and talking about them, so I figured I would give it a go. The movie I'm gonna be talking about today is a movie that I saw recently that was freaking weird <laughs> called Midsommar. Spoiler alert, I will be giving you the entire plot of this movie. So if you have not seen it and you want to see it, don't watch this video. <laughs> All right, so basically this movie starts off with main character, her name's Danny, and she is in a relationship with this guy, Christian, and she gets an email from her sister that's like super cryptic. And she does that thing when whenever you hook up something to the exhaust of a car and then you suffocate from fumes, she does that in her house and kills herself and her family. And Danny, the main character, is like, yo, sh what the f and goes into depression, which I'm sure she was already in because depression doesn't go away. Anyways, she's depressed, and then in the background of this all happening, Christian is talking with his new friends because he wants to break up with her, but now he feels bad because his family just died, so he's like, I will be a dick, so I'm not gonna do that. So what does he do? He invites her on a trip to Sweden. Yeah. They're going to Sweden for, I guess they're in grad school, and him and his friends are trying to come up with their thesis. The one guy that they're with is from Sweden, from this, like, cult tribe thing in the middle of the woods. They are celebrating this festival called Midsummer that happens once every, like, 90 years. Like, a nine-day-long festival. He invites them to all go. They go to Sweden. Literally, as soon as they get there, they are given these, like, drug things. I don't know. And they're, like, tripping balls. Right off the bat, like, she's, like, seeing grass growing out of her hands and shit, and, like, having panic attacks, and it's just, like, weird. And I was like, okay, this is what's happening here. And I figured, you know, it's, like, some weird cult place thing. Things are gonna be weird. They have, like, weird dinners together, and they all, like, live in the same house, and everyone's, like, really communal. And you think everything's, like, I mean, obviously things seem, like, a little off, but, you know, that's their culture or society so you're just kind of like taking it back like you know it's gonna be different and everything's all fine and dandy until they get to this part <laughs> where there's these two old people and they have this like weird sit down lunch thingy and the old people are like weirdly moaning at the front of the table and i was like okay this just got f***ing weird they finish up their dinner and then they take the old people and they put them in these chairs that they carry up this cliff and the whole time i was watching the movie i was like yo they about to yeet these people in these chairs off this cliff, just like whoosh. However, they don't do that. There's a surprise. Instead, they decide to suicide dive off the mountain just cause why not? So the first lady, she like goes off the mountain and like belly flops off the freaking mountain. And of course, there is a perfectly placed freaking pointy ass rock at the bottom that she just like <laughs> slaps onto. And then like her body just like becomes mashed potatoes. It was f***ing weird. And then the man, you know, had to be, you know, different from her. So instead, he just, like, walks off and his legs just, like, push the bottom of the cliff. Except he doesn't die. Like, he doesn't die. Dude is still alive, just, like, in agony on the floor because his legs are f***ed to sh And what do they decide to do? Like... A bunch of people pull out this giant hammer mallet thing and decide to one by one come up to the dude and bash his face in with the giant hammer one at a time and I'm just like okay this movie took a hard left that was the start of the downfall of this movie so after that you know obviously the characters that aren't part of the society that are brought in there's there's two British people uh, male and female that are engaged they got brought in by some other dude. And then the main character, Danny, her boyfriend, Christian, and then they brought two other people with them. Everybody is just like, the f just happened. Clearly, now they realize this society's got some weird culture stuff going on, okay? However, nobody like bats an eye. Like, they think it's weird, but they're all like, oh, it's cool. We'll still stay here, even though we just saw that. Uh, main guy, Christian, and then this other dude, um, his name is Josh, I think? I don't know. Either way, they're both doing their thesis on, like, this cult. So they're trying to learn more about what's going on here, and they're kind of, like, talking to people and learning about their culture. The other guy, 
realizes that, you know, if, if you're in such a small community, there's got to be some messed up stuff going on. So he asks them about, like, incest and inbreeding. And dude kind of, like, the guy that he asks is, I don't know, like, priestess of the colony? I don't really know what he is. Asks him about it. And he kind of at first, like, beats around the bush and doesn't give him a straight answer. And then straight up comes out and is just like, yeah, we, <laughs> we literally let the most inbred person of this community be the one who writes our Bible of sorts, which their Bible of sorts is like a book that has writings on it in some weird cryptic language, and then paint just freaking smeared all over it because the dude that is the one writing this book is inbred to shit. So he's like all deformed, like, oh. Uh. They're like, oh, we interpret it. I'm like, of course you interpret it. It's paint smeared on a page. What the hell does that mean? Like, I don't really know. Then there's this guy, Christian, okay? That's Danny's boyfriend. And this, like, redhead chick keeps, like, eyeing him every time they have, like, dinner and stuff. And it's really freaking creepy because this chick, like, doesn't talk to him. And she's got, like, the biggest eyes I've ever seen in my life. And she just keeps staring him down. And nobody, like, notices this chick being weird. So they get to, like, some point where they're having, like, a dinner or whatever. And they're eating these, like, meat pie things. And he freaking, in his pie, pulls out a mother effing pube. Like, a pube. Like, <sighs> Why? why and i'm just like okay that's weird so at first i'm watching the movie thinking like are they killing people and like putting them in the pies is this some sweeney type going on i don't really know so i wasn't sure what was going on there later he gets like approached by some lady and is like yo so we want you to do this thing <laughs> we want you she was basically just like i want you to have sex with this redhead chick because we have chosen, like, she's chosen you. And then he was like, yo, is that why she put her pube in my meat pie earlier? Which was all part of her master plan, I guess, to seduce him or whatever the heck they do in this world. So, basically, he's like, uh, you know, I'm gonna not do that because I'm here with my girlfriend and that's freaking weird. As a result, like, he doesn't want to do that, but I totally understand him not wanting to. But this whole, anytime anybody in this cult, like, any of the outsiders don't want to do something they just drug them to shit and then they're like in this weird like trip where they just do whatever they want them to do so periodically throughout the movie they keep giving them this weird drink that looks like pee with grass in it and i don't know why anyone keeps drinking it but they keep drinking it and people start getting killed off like the thesis guy came he gets killed off the other dude comes uh that was with them he kept like making jokes and stuff he gets killed off, and then someone comes with, like, his face on, so they, like, skinned him and wore his body at some point in time. That was, like, pfft. And then, like, the two British people just go missing. The girl, like, we never find her. I don't know where she went. Like, she definitely died, but I don't know where. They, like, never show her again. And then the dude she was with shows up, like, hung up in a chicken coop with, like, his lungs sticking out his back. And I was just like, okay, what happened here? Now we're getting to the good part. So now, after all those people are, like, dead and gone, all that's left is Danny and Christian. And they're, like, D Danny does some, like, weird flower girl dance thingy. And it's, like, whoever dances the longest becomes, like, the flower queen. And she dances the longest. So she's, like, hallucinating while she's doing her dance and whatever. And during this whole time, what happens? Christian is drinking the weird, like, hallucinogenic drink that they keep giving him. And he somehow ends up in this like barn house place with the chick that wanted to have sex with him and she's just like lying naked in like a bed of flowers in this barn thing and what is around her naked women of all ages just like boom and also i don't know what it is about this particular cult but nobody knows how to shave so it was like bush galore so that was freaking weird but it gets better so He's all hopped up on drugs, so he's against his better judgment, decides to have sex with this girl in the middle while all these naked women are watching, and he, like, starts having sex with her, and all of these naked women in this circle start groping their boobs and moaning in unison while he's having sex with this girl in the middle of the circle. And I'm just like, I, I, like, I feel uncomfortable, like, I feel like I shouldn't be watching this, but it's already happening. <laughs> And they're in, like, this, like, group moaning session. And every once in a while, he, like, comes to and looks up and is just like, uh, 
like what's happening and then like goes back to having sex with this girl and i'm just like i don't know what's happening here but it's like some weird orgy thing and i'm uncomfortable and then danny like finishes her flower dance thing and then goes and looks through like an eye hole in the door and sees this orgy going on and obviously gets upset because her boyfriend is having sex with some other girl and she goes into like the house that they've all been living in and starts like crying except this girl does not cry normally this girl like yells and screams and like inhales real deeply like it's like aggressive crying and all of the other girls that she was doing her flower dance with like come into the house with her and start crying in unicession they just have this like group cry sesh where they're all like yelping weird and just like <gasps> like yeah, i don't hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but they're having the cry sesh. Her boyfriend's having the orgy in the other house. I don't know what's going on. And the whole time I'm feeling super uncomfortable and I'm just like, uh. So after, you know, he does his deed and sinks his seed in that lady and she's like, oh, I've stood a baby already. It's like, okay, girl, calm down. That's not how that works. He, they like paralyze him and put him in a wheelchair and they go to Danny, who's now like the flower queen. And they basically tell her, like, we're making a sacrifice to the whatever we're making a sacrifice to. And we need one more person or whatever for the sacrifice. Because they already had, you know, the people who have already been killed in this movie. And then on top of that, they needed, like, they had, like, two people from the cult sacrifice themselves. So they were, like, alive. And then she gets all pissy with her boyfriend, obviously, because he just f***ing girl and whatever so she picks him for some reason they take him and they take like they kill a bear they kill a bear like there's been a bear in this colony the whole time i don't know why but they kill a bear and then they like take all the insides of the bear out and they take christian and they put him in the bear like paralyzed in the bear just like in it and then they take them all and they put them in this like house that has been there the whole movie but nobody's been allowed in it and they put him in the house thing and there's all the other dead people that have died throughout the movie like just stuffed in there and then the two live people that were like i'm sacrificing myself for this cult and i was like okay like you're stupid anyways what do they do they set the house on fire because why not set the house on fire it's burning to the ground and the two people are in there and like this is like you know this isn't supposed to hurt this is for my for my family blah, blah, whatever and then the dude starts catching on fire and he starts screaming and the other guy looks at him and is like <gasps> like instant regret for what you've done here so that concludes and then the very final scene of the movie is you see Danny's face and she's like alarmed and then it turns to a smile because you know that b up inside she was already messed up but now they just like exerted that to the extreme and that is how the movie <laughs> and if you're confused I'm still confused and I watched the movie it wasn't a bad movie it was definitely I enjoyed watching it uh, even if I was very uncomfortable but I would say definitely something to watch if you feel like questioning your life choices and that's about it but if you guys like this video or like this type of video and like to see me do more of this kind of thing, give me movie suggestions down below in the comments. Let me know any movies that you would want me to review or talk about. Definitely things that are like weird or bad or out there because, you know, yeah. Either way, thank you guys for being here. Peace out and fair winds and I'll see you in the next video.